Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be painting today. What are we painting? We are going to paint the 69th basis in my playlist, and we are gonna slap the shit out of it. First up, canvas prep. Now, since this one's going to be a neon too, we're gonna give it a good dark background. Apply the black, give it some dioxazine and some prism, and we are gonna make this brilliant. First step, let's smooth this out. Now, Davey, if you don't like and subscribe to this right now, I'm gonna do something evil. How evil? Try strumming chords on a six string bass evil. You are warned. Now this is where we're gonna get a little meta with it. Since we are painting a slapper, we're gonna slap the paint. That'll give us that good, feelable texture. We're gonna give it just a little more paint, not a whole lot, just enough to work with. You know what, let's go ahead and add some blue and pink in there. Oh no, oh no! There we go. Get the brush, slap the canvas. Actually, kind of like that. I might end up doing something with that. All right, well, since we're still here and you haven't subscribed yet, we're gonna do this again, but this time, the bass is coming from Russia. Mother Russia. Actually, that's a bit of a misnomer. This bass is more evil than any Russian because it is Soviet bass. Check out the tailpipe. And if that's not enough for you, how about generic rock bass from the 80s? All right, so this canvas is dry enough. Look at that texture on there, it's like a wave. This is what happens when you slap a painting. And we're gonna paint right the fuck over it. Now first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our source image. Now we're gonna take this picture and we're gonna run it through this projector. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this picture, we're gonna run it through this projector and we're gonna slap it onto this canvas. That picture's not really there. It's a figment of your imagination, but we're gonna trace it. We're gonna trace that picture with paint onto the canvas. Think of it as using tabs vice sheet music. Actually, I lied, before we could do that, we have to take all this old dry paint off of our palette. Now again, you can use your thumbnails for this. Can I just slide off? Or if you want to do it expediently, you use a knife, but make Fake knife, fuck it, clean it with a gun. I did that on purpose, I am a trained professional. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you know that the first thing we're gonna do is make a shadow over where the subject in the painting is gonna be. And we're gonna do that using the purples of the background and black, and we're gonna use it at a mm, probably 70-30 ratio. 70% that color, 30% black. The black will make it fucking dark. Now I'm gonna fucking mix these, and then we're gonna get to it. Oh yeah, give it to me, daddy. My paint tube's a squirter. All right, now with this, what we're gonna be doing with this black is we're gonna be painting where Davy is, not this background stuff around to the side, and then down at the shoulders, we're gonna just kinda like uh, fade out to kinda give it a uh, different type of, uh, it'll give it a fun look when it's done. And then we're only gonna touch the little bit of the hair right now, because we want it to fade up that way too. Let's kick this pig. Now you'll notice again that I am painting in the dark just to get this outline, right? And then once I get a good outline of what I want, I will turn the light on and fill in the blanks. Boom, lights on. Now one of the things I'm doing with this is since we're doing such a fucking textured painting is I'm not pressing the brush into the canvas. I'm kind of gliding over it and letting the bristle tips hit these wave tops. And I don't know if these things have an actual term, I'm just calling them wave tops, because that's kinda what it looks like. I mean, it's either that or alien skin. Now that's what this should look like at this point in the painting, see? See, see where his face is? Right, right there, over that shadow. That, that shadow is right where his face is. Now we're gonna let this much of it dry before we go in and start putting in real color. Also, if you're curious what this style is, it's called modern art. 
and it sucks. Learn to paint, asshole. Now, normally this is where I would have a word for my sponsors. If I had one, Jameson, come on, give me money to drink your shit on my show. I will paint your whiskey bottles. Well, since Jameson isn't gonna pay me to drink it, I'm just gonna fucking do it anyway. Get yourself a big glass. Fill it full of ice just to piss off your Irish friends. Now, while we're at it, I guess we should declare intent on this painting. Why am I painting Davey 504? Mostly because my buddy Jude hates him and I'm gonna get a laugh out of the fucking kickback I get from this. That and, you know, clickbait. Also, the kind of bass I play is that, you know, like 80s generic rock. Dun, 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 Bass. And you know what? I don't think I've ever heard Davey 504 play generic rock bass. He's all up on the fretboard like... I don't think I've ever seen him just go... For three fucking minutes straight like he's in a fucking 80s heavy metal band. He lives in England, right? Metal's from England. Come on, what's up? Also, again, since we're having a lack of a sponsor, I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to uh, Flashdance Designs. I'll try to remember to put the link back in the bio, but like these things end up being half an hour long and I don't remember fucking shit. But yeah, no, they sent me this fucking glass for free. It's got my old unit logo on it, so that's cool. Remember that when they say in the snow of far off northern lands in the sunny tropic scenes, they're actually talking about the first Marine Division. If you're not first, you're last! Now, as you can see, this paint is pretty dry, or at least dry enough, and that's very impressive. Now, hit like before I start painting again. You smash like I smash the brush. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 I think I just found something. Hey, beard oil people. Give me a sponsorship, I think I just found something. Oh, oh, ooh, oh, 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 it feels good on the mustache too. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah. Throwing that out. Now for this next part, we're gonna be using our mid-tone purples and our fluorescent blue. We're gonna save the pink for last. Kinda like when I fuck your mom ass mouth badge. Now with this style of art that we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using a thicker brush and we're gonna be using broad strokes. Broad strokes, that's what happens when your mom comes around my house. Oh, I'm on fire tonight! Let's get to it. All right, now as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just doing big shapes right now. I'm not trying to do too much detail. Now, there's not going to be a whole lot of detail in this painting anyway because of the uh, style that it's in, but we are still wanting to do shapes at this point. And right here, we're gonna mix a little bit on the canvas to help get that blend in there. Sitting alone in your car in an empty parking garage, staring at your apartment with your fists on your chin. Is something watching you? How did it get so All right, let's turn the light on. See how that looks. See, that is a piece of modern art mastery. Now, don't worry. This is not the final product. We are coming back to this. But this blocky mess of a form is good for what we want to do with this painting because this stuff we are going to paint over it. But because paint is thin and it spreads out and the paint behind it can shine through, this will serve to bring the things out later. So what's gonna happen is, imagine another layer of paint over this, but the light goes through that layer, hits this, and bounces back out. It's called science, and I don't know what science is, but uh, they said it in that one TV show a lot, so it's science, bitch! Now this, while we're at it, some people would just uh, leave it here and call it good enough where it's at. Um, and if I was an actual teacher instead of just some asshole on the internet, I would fucking fail you for this because this is garbage. See, here's the thing. Um, modern art is just a label that means I don't know how to fucking actually make art. And people will swear up and down all day long that it's all about expressing yourselves, not actually about the craft of making this thing. And I call those people trust fund kids because they're the only people that fucking get famous doing the shit. And by famous, I mean like not famous. There aren't really any famous artists anymore. I, I just mean like, uh, you know, get their bills paid with it. Because most of the art world nowadays is actually an elaborate money laundering scheme. Like you were that guy that like taped a banana to the wall. You are not gonna tell me that money didn't go to cocaine or the mafia. Yeah, so anyway, we're gonna let that dry. Or at least, you know, dry enough to I like, can swash a brush around this again without it, you know, getting all combobulated together. 
Also, I was watching one of my videos from the other day. Um, I fucking hate my voice. Jesus, I should stop talking like this. Like, and it's mostly like the hyper fucking part of it. Um, do you think that, that, that Davy, 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 is, is that why you talk like that? Because you hate your actual voice and you're okay with the one that you've constructed? See, I, I can't do that. Now, like, if I drink enough, I get what I like to call y'all ain't drunk, where I start talking like, hey, y'all ain't fucking goddamn fucking doing these goddamn paintings on these videos here in my house. And I don't like that fucking voice either. But the piper's gotta get paid somehow. Right. Also, what is up with these fucking teeth? Eh. Man, you'd think I'd be British with these fucking chumps. All right, that paint is dried. Are you ready to slap some paint? Alright, so now what we're gonna do, oh man, he looks evil as shit right there! Vampire, baby. Slap the garlic. Anyway, um, we're gonna start working in some, uh, highlights. Um, the areas where we painted the dark before, we're gonna paint over just a little bit with the blue and the fluorescent pink, and then we're gonna blend that in with the other lighter purples. Now we're going to turn the lights on and see what this looks like in the light. And we're going to make some adjustments using the full spectrum of what the naked eye can see. Nightmares. Full stained fingers bring bourbon to her lips. Another hand comes down the thigh and she lets her mind drift. Now since we're doing surrealist art instead of like, you know, real, real art, with these big blocks and shapes that we have, we can take liberties in the lighting and where the paint goes all that. Now, normally there's like five or six more steps I want to do before I would call a painting good, but I'm, I'm actually really fucking digging this. I mean, look at it. It is evil, Davy 504. That is a terrible, terrible accent, and I'm, uh, I'm sorry for that, Danny. Now, actually, do you know what? I think there is some stuff I want to come in and do. I want to come in and blend this out just a little bit. Maybe brighten out the nose, give it that little more pink, give... Oh, man, I don't know if I want to get that lip more pink or not. And then I don't think I want to give him pupils. I, I, I like the I like the fucking evil look he's got right there. Let's have another drink and smoke a cigarette and contemplate it. Davy five hundred four. I challenge you to buy this painting from me from my website for four hundred and twenty dollars and sixty nine cents USD. Next on the list is parody videos. My whole life's a parody. Let's get back to what we're doing with this painting thing. You ready to slap the rest of the paint on this canvas? Let's do it. Now we're gonna leave the lights on for this because we've already got our fucking uh, shapes and we know about where we're going with everything. And for the most part, we're only gonna use the uh, bright pink and then a little bit of the purple to get rid of that uh, weird bright notch part I accidentally painted on this nose. One of the tricks we're gonna do with specifics and blending is we're gonna dip the paintbrush half in one color and half in the other and blend it on the canvas as we go. Goddamn fans on. All right, so we're gonna call this a wrap. All right, so we're at the end of the night and the end of the painting. I've got the uh, actual one next to me, and this is what it looks like up in Photoshop and pretty definitely like nice looking. Although the uh, images never give these things justice in the nightmare box that they're in. 
But anyway, yeah, Davey 504, keep slapping that base, and I will keep slapping the paint. And go ahead and join us next time. I already got the canvas prepped. I started toning that canvas with the excess paint left over from the pellet from this painting. And tomorrow, we're gonna do something military themed. And I'm just gonna fucking talk about PTSD and bitch moan and complain the entire time. It's gonna be a real fucking bitch fest. Might wanna skip that one. Anyway, I've been Trip, you've been you. This has been fun. Until next time.